Hey there and welcome to the channel, my name's Sean Evely and in today's video I'm going to be making a custom chainsaw bar, what is it called again? Cover! Okay, so the chainsaw I have is a steel MS661. Now if you want to make a cover for yourself, every chainsaw bar is pretty much the same, just different lengths. Just change the measurements to fit your chainsaw. My plan is to make a really thin, sleek plywood cover, and I'm gonna cut up some thin strips of plywood. So theoretically, I get end grain strips, if you wanna call it that. And I'm gonna make a really nice herringbone style pattern, I think, on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna be making my cover from a few pieces of plywood. So the way I'm gonna make my cover is three layers. There's gonna be two outer walls that look like this, and ideally that should be made from uh, very thin plywood. The thicker these will be, uh, obviously the thicker the cover, so I want them pretty thin. And then you've got the center kind of divider, which will actually be sort of a U shape to go around the bar. So this is gonna be sandwiched together so then the bar can slot in the middle. And now this center piece obviously has to be wider the thickness of the bar. So I'm gonna make my center divider out of this piece of plywood, which is just thicker than the, uh, the bar and the chain. And then I've got a thinner piece of scrap plywood here that will make the walls. Let's start tracing. Waka 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 You can see now we've got three components we've got the two walls and this center divider that i just cut out on the bandsaw so this will go in the middle like that and then the bar can slide in through the end so yeah it's pretty simple that's pretty much the carcass so what i'm going to do now is glue this all up and in the morning i'll start making it look pretty So the blank is glued up. Now if you wanted, you could actually stop at this point if you don't really care about what it looks like. If you're going to the effort of making your own cover, might as well customize it. So I'm going to leave the shaping to the end because obviously it's square, but I'm going to decorate the faces now. My reference line for where the kind of pocket is will be covered up. So I use that line for where the bar would be and I make this paper template. So once I cover the faces up with whatever decoration you want to do, I've got this template to put on top, then I can trace around it again, and then I'll know where the inside wall is, so then when I start shaping the outside, I won't break through.
there we go, that is the chainsaw cover done. It's a very simple build. I think the herringbone pattern makes all the difference and makes it unique. I also want to thank my patrons, their names are on the screen now. Your support really helps the channel keep going and it helps me buy more wood for the projects. So uh, I really appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting early access to the videos I release, please consider becoming a patron. All the information is down below. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.